everybody! Today seems like a good day to have a good day. Stay tuned for my 12 tips on how to have a good day, and if you enjoy this type of video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, and if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. I'm Jessica Perrier, as it says on the sign, and I've got 12 tips to teach you how to have a good day. Tip number one, smile. It's so crazy, but when you actually physically smile, it's almost like it instantly makes you feel a little happier. When you smile, you're self, self-consciously, you're subconsciously telling yourself that you're happy. So like, even when I'm at the gym and I'm doing ridiculous reps that are the worst, they're, they're seriously the worst, I will smile to fool my body into thinking that I like it. Instead of grimacing, I smile. What a big difference a smile can make to not only ourselves, but to somebody else. Uh-huh. I know, isn't that crazy? Tip number two is call a friend. I don't know about you, but talking to a friend always makes me a little bit more happy. It really helps me have a good day. Tip number three is get off social media. I feel like that one probably doesn't require any additional explanation, but get off social media. I know because my business is very heavily rooted in social media, but it can be super draining and it certainly does not help you have a good day. But when you're on social media, you're looking at everybody's highlight reel. You're, you're comparing their highlight reel to your behind the scenes footage, right? I know I don't have a fabulous day every single day, but if you go on my social media, it sure does look that way. Do you ever get hungry for lunch? I bet your friend gets hungry for lunch too. Tip number four is to invite a friend to lunch. Hold up, wait a minute. That does require you leaving your house. <laughs> That's a hidden tip, actually. So I'm combining tip number five as to have lunch with a friend or just plain get out into the world. I'm just gonna go put my salads back in the fridge now. Are you maybe spending the day working today? Keep a list, keep an actual note of all of your accomplishments that you've done today. Whether it's something for your personal life or something for your family or even something for your boss, it's still something that you accomplished. Write it down. Seeing all of our accomplishments actually written down, it feels really good, right? Good enough to have a good day? I think so. Okay, tip number six and one of my most favorite, perform a random act of kindness. But Jessica, what's a random act of kindness? It's literally just doing something nice. So let's think of some different random acts of kindness. You could pop a happy note in the mail to somebody. It could be on just a plain piece of paper, it could be on a cute note card, whatever. Hey girl, I hope you're having a fabulous day, I'm thinking of you, remember that time when blah blah blah. I hope this note makes you smile. Love Jessica. Hold the door open for somebody. That's a random act of kindness. You see a disheveled mom with two kids in tow trying to get her groceries taken care of while one of them's screaming and the other one's starving, who knows, I don't know, I don't have kids. Let her go in front of you in line. That's a random act of kindness. Okay, say you're following all my tips today to have the best day ever, and you take your friend out to lunch, and your lunch bill is, say, $20. So a typical tip for your waitress is going to be somewhere between two and four dollars. Random act of kindness, bump it up to five, or maybe even 10. A $10 tip on a $20 bill is crazy, but what is that to us? It's just an extra like five or six dollars out of our pocket, but that is going to change that waitress's day. I promise. Anything that you can do that has an effect on somebody else having a good day is going to help you have an even better day. Oh. I'm not the best meditator in the world, but I will tell you that practicing meditation will absolutely have a positive impact on your day. I'm still trying to include it in my regular everyday life. I am not the meditating type. However, that's why I'm giving you 12 tips. So even if you're not the meditating type, you've got some other ideas from me. Okay, this one I actually practice quite a bit. What number tip are we on? Okay, I'm getting long-winded. <laughs> We're on tip number eight, and my next tip is to watch a TED Talk. But Jessica, who's TED? I don't actually know what TED stands for, but T-E-D. Type it into YouTube, TED Talk, and you're going to see a bazillion different options. Every TED Talk that I've ever taken the time to watch has directly impacted my life whether it was my feelings of the day, or my plans for tomorrow, or my overarching ideals in life, TED Talks really truly touch your soul. Here's one from the rocket science category. 
stay out of negative situations. Clear the clutter and get organized. My office is in a constant state of chaos. However, I do once in a while take the time to really truly clear out the clutter. I go piece by piece on my desk or in my office and really evaluate what can I do with this item? Can I get rid of it? Where can I send it off to? Clear the clutter and get organized. It's going to help you have a much better day, whether it's in your office or on your bedside table or at your desk at work, whatever. Clear that clutter. When you clear the clutter, it clears the mind. Tip number 11 that I live true and true every single day, make a to-do list. Much like I talked about earlier where you're making a list of all your accomplishments, Sit down and really brain dump your to-do list. What do you need to do? Whether it's pick up dry cleaning, make dinner, um, order paper towels from Amazon, whatever. Whatever it is, no matter how big or small, put it on a to-do list. Much like I just talked about clearing the clutter and getting organized in your space, clear the clutter from your mind. By putting everything onto a list, you're no longer stressing about it internally, and then you can start to feel accomplished as you're crossing those things off throughout your day. And tip number 12 comes from my bestie, Alyssa K. Brown, turn on a power playlist. Whether music speaks to you or not, I mean, I love music, but I can go through my day silent and I'm fine with it. Alyssa needs music to get I was going to say shit. I'm just going to say it. Shit done. <laughs> on the mornings that I turn on my power playlist, like the songs that really just get me going, I am super like more productive. It's, it's kind of weird how that happens. So those are my top 12 tips on how to have a good day. I hope that you put some of these into action. And if you do, leave me a comment down below. Tell me about your good day and what really made it the best. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. Have a great day.